Success! Stick gave the cute girl's proper direction and made his way to work without a heart attack. Really getting the hang of this. 9 to 5. Okay. Oh, he's happy at work. Happy that he will not have a heart attack. And also because he got uh, the number of the lady. Oh, it's very peacefully. Suddenly, Stick's boss show up to examine. Fuck! Seriously, not only do you give a Stick a heart attack, but you then freak out his boss, causing him to have an heart attack as well. Now you're accountable for two leaves you've taken. Way to go, partner. Let's do this again. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sir. Okay. Yeah, examine the progress. Okay, keep up, man. Don't have an heart attack. Come on. Phew, he's gone. Now back to the boredom of work. Ooh. Now the cool lady will appear again. Success! The stick made it through work and his heart rate is still intact. Now it's time to go home for the night. Come on, I have to regulate his heartbeat. Shh. Stick is sleeping. Shh, guys. Oh, come on. I have to... Are you fucking serious? Okay, wait for it. Come on, this is so hard. Don't have nightmares, please. I, I beg you, do not have nightmares. Come on. Don't pee your pants also. Suddenly he begin to have an erotic dream about the girl he met today. No, fuck. Okay. Come on, don't get a boner at least. That would be problematic. Damn it, stick it left. Get your mind off that girl and wake up before you got a heart attack. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> you know, you know, having erotic uh, dreams makes you get an heart attack. Stick made it to the end of the night without dying from a heart attack. Cool. Uh, though it seems he ruined his pants from his dream last night. Oh well, at least he still got a pulse. I guess it's better. You know, you can wash your pants afterwards, you know, it's better to be alive. Congratulations, you got stick through his full day, all while keeping his heart rate intact. He's something else, man. There we go. Well, that was definitely something. I guess this game could be useful somewhere, like in here, in this game. Better jump drive this game anyway, maybe seeing game fanatics will like it. Indeed. Alright, that's one game out of the way. Four more to go. This is IDO back as computer, it's locked, so I have to find a passcode to use it. I guess it will be on his cushion. Or maybe not. Maybe in his books? All these books are blank. Maybe they're here just to make the place look busy. Yeah, right. Okay, where can I find the passcode? Where can't I check? The pillow again. There's something written on his panties. I can't quite see. Can Why can't I take a look? <coughs> can't really see. Well, that's a shame. I can't see what's inside the panties. Ha <laughs> ha! Bad sexual joke. I'm sorry. All oh, these beds look the same and this complex must not really value the people who live in. Indeed. Now you're being very proud of your profession, you know. Okay, there we go. Alright, this is David Beige's pro computer. He has supposedly made an art house mass risk. If that is the case, you need to source to hack to it uh, add artistical appeal to your game. Just, let's just pray that it doesn't just attract too many hipster deadbeats to the game scene. Yeah. Alright, enough talk. Let's source hack this bitch. I like your spirit, man. The return. You wake up with your head hurting. You can't remember who you are anymore. Almost like an explosive caves amnesia. Or maybe these are the guys that made amnesia. I mean, this is referring to to them, sorry. You need to remember yourself and her as well. Hmm, nice. I have an inventory with full of spaces. Okay, let's go. It's locked. I can't open it. It's locked. Okay, I guess there's only one way. Locked. Everything is locked. Okay, there will be a massive jump scare here, right? Okay. Sasema be it se to fe. Le fin. 
Yeah, that was a hard journey. What the crap was that? There wasn't even a single puzzle throughout the whole thing. Good god, this whole game looks like a bust. Hacking this was a horrible waste of time. But wait, it seems there are critically acclaimed reviews for this game saying how good it is. <laughs> so maybe it was what they thought when Amnesia came out because it became so famous. Such reviews going as far as saying that anyone who thinks differently of this game should be sentenced to death out of lack of creative thinking. Perhaps it's worth taking his data anyway. Maybe it will serve as some nice hipster bait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two games done, three more to go. Cool. Okay, let's go to room uh, number four. I guess I know what's, uh, what the theme will be of that room. Pony lovers. Here I am. Okay, I guess also this one. This is a Retro Frog's computer. He supposedly made a social commentary on jumping in games. Supposedly, this was inspired from horny flash games that forced up as the jump button. It's a game controlled all through the arrow, arrow keys. Yeah, because that style never died, seems. Let's see if the social commentary game is any bit of entertaining. I guess it could be. You have to up to jump. Okay, stage one. Yeah. To move in this game is. Oh, okay. This is some sort of Happy Wheels without Happy Wheels. Yeah, cool. I don't know what's, which game is referencing to. Oh, yeah. Spikes are bad. Fuck. Holy oh, shit, you tricked me. Okay, stage four. Shit. How can I do this? Oh, maybe in the space between them. No. No. Okay, I did it. Finally. Stage five. Hold up to climb vines. Okay, one last one, one last jump, yes. Oh shit, oh this. Final stage, yeah, boss fight, come on, fuck. Probably that guy was the one who made Dark Souls. After being an indie developer, he became a professional. You win, yeah, I found the, the lady. There we go, the end of the game was cheap. Pressing up to jump in platforms is a load of hand cramp bullshit. Well, at least it was a surprisingly entertaining game, albeit chap. Sounds worth jump driving the data and getting some retro charm in our own game. Indeed. Two more games left. Maybe let's... Homebrew games. Yeah, I love it. Let's see if I can use something. It's my car, poor thing has its windows mashed in. Damn it, cave. Those don't come cheap. Can I take the crowbar? Like the good... Uh, those with cave have his crowbar behind. I just take that as a minor compensation. Cause you know. Oh, there's a pony also. Cool. I can see the pony lovers room through this window. Can I take it? Oh, I'm breaking in. Because yeah. Indie developers always get in rooms like this. Cool, Gowley moves. The, bed, the beds are always the same. Uh, actually, it isn't so that bad. Oh, there's a there's a paper. Oh, there's a... It's a draw of a pony. Cool. Okay, let's hack this thing. Alright, we are off to a Bro Hoof's 19th computer. Soul hacking is a fanfic game. Let's just play this horse banger as a decent game in the stock with Source Harding. Harking. Alright, let's get this fanfic Nightmare starter. There we go. Gully 3. Okay, I'm ready to play. As a pony. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, I'm a steampunk horse. Pony. Well, this is the first one that has 3D in it. Oh, so I have to race them. Okay. Oh, I can. Oh, blue gates. Uh, ah, I can switch. Cool. You can walk through green gates. Wow, that's so cool. And the K 
Kathy something from the X-Men. Okay. Red Gully. He is Red Gully. Can block heavy objects. Sets off red triggers on the ground. Oh, there we go. That's the Spirit Gully. Wonderful, this answer is a totally portion on the map. Okay, let's get back to number one, I guess. Okay, you shall find your way. Oh, there's more to explore. Hmm. More than meets the eyes, right? Oh shit, how can I do this? Oh, I need her to break the door open. There we go. Now you're, I shall set you free, you ponies. There we go. Nice, nice teamwork. High five, everyone. Let's see. I can blast stuff. Okay, you need, need the ghost pony to put there. Okay, there's a horrible pit of death. Better not go there. Okay, maybe I can smash this. Yeah, cool. Okay, guys. It's time to go... Cross this bridge. Okay, let's send the blue one first. So no, she has the power of... Or he. Okay, there we go. Oh, we need the ghosty one. Maybe, no, before the red one. Yeah, gentlemen, you know. Oh, we need the both of them. Okay, there we go. And why did she need the other one as well? Oh, that's why. Okay. Very, very well. Hey, we need you to break this gate. Okay, yeah, by the power of friendship we are going through these levels. Always remember that, kids. Oh, no, that's synchronizing. That's nice. Only the two of us. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, open all the doors. Of course, I need. Thank you. Oh, there's the magical chest of keys. I don't know what that, that's on. Okay, we reached one. Are we the ghost? Pony? Yeah, very well. And now the magical frostfire pony. Here we go. And now we shall open the chest of the treasure. True treasure, tr treasure. I can't talk. There we go. Yeah, power of friendship. Power rangers, I mean power ponies. Yeah. Sweet. Treasure gap. Oh yeah. Power buff ponies.